How is it going everyone and welcome to a new FIFA 14 preparation video. So in this episode I'm going to cover 3 new players, 3 new silver players and I decided just to do this to bridge the gap between today and tomorrow when the demo drops. So I expect a FIFA 14 proper gameplay video tomorrow but let's jump straight into the first player and this will be a player from the MLS. And I will also feature 2 more players from the Eredivisie just because I know the Eredivisie by heart and I pretty much know every player. But let's jump on into the first player and this player came to my attention thanks to Jenkins another uh, YouTuber from the UK. And well this player Johnson has 85 pace, 73 dribbling and 82 heading. On top of that he also has 4 star skills and 4 star weak foot. He has the power header trait, he has flares so he can do the rabanas. So what can, can't you ask of him? On top of that he also has 90 strength. So he is pretty much impossible to uh, the bully of the ball. Because well as, I, well as I heard from pretty much every YouTuber that has played FIFA 14 so far. They are saying that strength is a much more important factor than in previous years. So if that's true the 90 strength will go in just fine. And it will just... It will just combine perfectly with his 85 pace. And the 82 heading means that he will pretty much head in everything. So he's a complete striker. He will probably be one of the most complete silver strikers in the game. So that's why I can't wait to try him out. But he will be, well, insanely expensive. Because, well, he's 1 meter 83. So he isn't really that that small either. But I'm going to, to try my best to, to buy him at the start of FIFA 1. Not many players know about him. So let's jump straight into the second player. And it'll be a player from the Eredivisie. And it'll be Lucas Piazzan, of course, on loan from Chelsea. Because... Uh, because like Vitesse and Chelsea have a bond together that they share players. M most players from the youth academy of Chelsea go to Vitesse. You also had Kalas, you had Van Arnold, you had Piazzon, Atsu is now also going to Vitesse. So loads of insane talents coming to Vitesse. And this is another one, Lucas Piazza, now a center tech midfielder. He used to be a left mid. But he has 4 star skills, 4 star weak foot. Unfortunately his work rate let him down a little bit. But his 1 meter and 82 centimeters make up for it because that means that he's pretty tall. And his 72 strength once again means that he is pretty difficult to bully off the ball. 81 dribbling, 81 ball control. 70 long passing, 73 short passing and 71 passing in general. 80 dribbling which is great for a center tech midfielder. Of course what you can expect from a Brazilian. And he's left footed so you can put him on the right side if you're playing any 4-3-3 formation which I'm planning to do with my Eredivisie squad but as you can see so many comments are so positive about him and he's just such a big beast all around and I can't wait to see him perform in Eredivisie because I will, be, I will be seeing much more from him when he's playing for Vitesse so I'm wondering what he will be doing what he will be doing when he's playing versus PSV so the fi final player of this episode will be a player from PSV once again but he's on loan from Manchester City it's Reikik he is an absolute beast he is while well, he's just known as the wall along with Bruma now for our current pace fade defense because as you don't uh, if you don't know if you're not like a support of pace fade you'd know that uh, that well our defense was pretty horrible last year and pretty much cost us a championship but now we have Bruma and Reikik two beasts in the back and they were just pretty much unstoppable they, unstoppable they're so good at tackling and they're both really young players because while Reikik is only 18 years old he's 1 meter 85 4 star weak foot and well he had a pretty decent chance from a long range Bruma even managed to to score almost score our long shot but Reikik also has pretty decent long shots even though it only says like 30 on the card it's really decent you you wouldn't uh, believe it at first but I saw him shoot one long shot and it was a really decent shot at goal but moving on to his other stats 82 strength once again 85 jumping so he's really good at, at heading and he's also 1 meter 85 so he's really tall and good at jumping so pretty much the ideal package for a center back on top of that he also has 75 acceleration and 72 sprint speed and even though some are saying that pace isn't that important as previous years I'm still uh, I still want to rather have like rather pacey strikes that have like 70 plus pace just to feel safe safe. 74 marking, 76 stand tackling and 67 slide, slide tackle are all really decent stats. So all around once again another center back that I can't wait to try out and I will probably pair him up with this guy with Kongolo. A player from uh, from Feyenoord, pretty much because he has 80 heading, 72 pace and 65 defending, but I'm not going to uh, do discuss him in detail. I'll just pair him up with Ray Kik, the one that I wanted to discuss in the first place. So that's the end of this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, it really helps out. Subscribe if you haven't already, you can always uh, follow me on Twitter, the link will be in the description. As I said before, tomorrow will be my first demo video, it will probably be a tutorial. But until the next time, peace by the thank you guys for watching.